What's going on guys, it's Paul here, and this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter than what my videos typically are, but I hope that what I share in this video will make your hike a little more comfortable or possibly even prevent blisters. So, if you use trail runners or if you're considering getting trail runners and you've ever wondered why they have this extra little hole around the ankle, or if you're wondering why they have an extra two feet, pun intended, of laces, then you have come to the right place. Those things are for the purpose of tying what's known as the runner's knot. Now, I am definitely not an expert when it comes to shoes, so it's possible that there are other knots that can be used as well that I'm just not aware of, but the runner's knot is what I was taught. It's worked well for me, so that's what I'm sharing in this video. And the purpose of the runner's knot is to really cinch down around the ankle and keep your heel locked at the back of the shoe. That's especially important for things like these ultras where they have a lot of room in the toe box because if your shoes are not tight and if your ankle's not locked against the back of the shoe, then your foot's gonna be sliding forward, you're gonna be slamming your toes into the front of the shoe whenever you're hiking. That's a good way to lose a toenail and nobody wants that. So now that you have a little bit better view of this, you can see that these laces are laced all the way up to the second to last hole here. So there's the extra hole that I was referring to. And in fact, on these ultra superiors, because of the tongue design, they do not have a hole on this side. Instead, it's an extra little loop, but effectively it's gonna work the same way. So if I spin this back around, what I want to do is take this lace and instead of going from the inside out, I wanna go from the outside in. So I wanna go back through that hole and pull that in to make a little loop on this side. I'm going to spin the shoe around and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. Pulling it through to make a loop on this side. So now what you can see is that I have a loop on both sides here. And now what I want to do is crisscross and run the lace through the loop on the opposite side. So what I mean by that is I want to take the lace on this side and run it through the loop on the opposite side. I'm gonna do the same thing here with this lace and run through the loop on this side. So now I wanna pull on the two laces to tighten them up. What you would probably wanna do at this point is work with the laces to make sure that everything is evenly tight on both sides. For time's sake in this video, I'm not gonna get the laces perfect, but essentially once you have that all tightened down, it's gonna be a lot tighter around this ankle. And now you can effectively tie it just like you would a normal shoe. Now at that point, you probably will want to play around with the laces a little bit just to adjust them to get everything tightened down just right for you. I know the first time or two that I used it, it's so effective at tightening around your ankle that I think I had it too tight. And I kind of found that if I will flex my leg forward while I tie the knot, that it ends up being just right. But that's essentially all there is to it. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave it a thumbs up. You can subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video.